All right, we already know what the Nets want for Durant. They basically want a young player and they want another young piece that can be an all-star. So let's we'll talk about if the Raptors were to trade for Kevin Durant again. If I'm the Raptors GM, is the only thing I'm doing. I'm basically giving the Nets one or three first and giving them Trent and OG. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting Sly, I'm not getting Pascal. That's the offer I'll do. I don't really care how high the Nets offer is. They basically got to accept it because we're not getting Scotty and we're not getting Pascal. I'm going to say this again. The Nets basically want a high ball offer for Kevin Durant and that's not happening. This guy's only 34 and he has only four years left of the contract. So that's what I think. Yes, I know many Raptors fans are like, oh, why are you trading Trent? Why are you going to trade him now? He's so young. Basically, you're going to have to pay him next season, so he's basically an expiring he using that deal. But as for OG, I don't know if he'll stay here long enough because last season he played 48 games and he basically asked for an increased role, but he keeps getting injured. So honestly, this is basically a Raptors for Nets in my book. And yes, Scotty Barnes, you can probably play point guard now, or you can probably play more of a shooting guard position with like an OG gone, and here's where the lineup will come to. You know what, for starting lap, it's where it comes to now. You have Fed at the 1, Sly at the 2, Durant at the 3, Pass at the 4, and Pressure at the 5. Just in case you trade Boucher or someone else in that trade. So honestly, a starting five is really nice. But honestly, as for Durant, honestly, I don't know what this deal will come to, but the Nets got a low ball offer. But honestly, if I'm the Raptors, what I discussed in this trade here, that's the only offer I'm doing. But as for the Raptors, I don't think they'll get a superstar anytime now because if they want to get like a Stephen Curry or a Kevin Durant who's an MVP type player, I'd basically do it, but those million players I'm giving in Trent, OG, and Boucher and others with picks. So that's all I've got to now. But as for Messiah Jerry, you never know what offer you can pull off. Maybe you can lowball your nets and see what he can do for Kevin Durant. But honestly, this Raptors team is still good. With Scotty Bobby, still the likes of him and Pascal, you still have other additions you've added in the offseason, like Otto Porter Jr., Christian Coloco, and others. These also are new additions the Raptors picked up, so honestly, if Kevin Durant were to be moved here, these key additions will all play a role as for Kevin Durant off the bench. But after Kevin Durant, he's only 34, who knows what team will end up on next? 